What's up guys? What's up today we're gonna have a different kind of episode. Notice most of you have been asking for tutorial on my latest um data files how to install and stuff. Well, yeah, we're gonna get to it today. Alright, so I recently updated it. You guys probably saw that right there. Just updated it, fixed the bug. Um the link to the download for departmental Speaker slots, that's the data files I'm working on, will be down in the description. You guys can install it for yourself and play around with the vehicle slots. Alright. So, first step, all you guys have to do is go to the link in the description on the LSPFR page. You would see the department of slots. Go click download. I've already downloaded it, obviously, because I need the plugin, so I already have it installed. And you'd install it wherever you want. I have it down here on my desktop. Right, then you go into the department of slots. If you're installing the Plugin, you'd go into the install folder if you're uninstalling for some reason. You'd go into the uninstall folder. First step would be to copy and paste to your GTA directory, which one is. Go to your GTA directory. First step would be to copy and paste. The LSPFR folder and the plugins folder into your main GTA, GTA directory. So, copy that into your main GTA directory. Let's replace. Right. And so you copy that in. Should work. Then. Second step, it's a simple two step process. Once you have OpenIV in, open, or if you have it installed on your PC, open the installer.oiv, that's the installation file for the rest of files. This would install the vehicle meta file and the car variation files, which control the vehicle slots and your light. As you can see, you'd pull it up here, you'd see that. Then you'd click install, install the mod folder. Install, confirm the installation. Wait a while, it's install the vehicle meta and stuff. There you go, and it's installation successful. And simple as that, you can install the department of slots. Now for this third step, which is not really necessary if you already understand how to do this part, but some may question how to do this part, right? To add vehicles, as you know, this is just the slots. To add vehicles, what you'd have to do is go to the LSPDFR page, downloads, and click on vehicle model. If you don't already have specific vehicles you want to use, uh, find a vehicle pack that you would like to use. Download the vehicle pack. I could find some of my own that I already have. Download the vehicle pack, and once you download it, what you'd have to do for it to work within the department of vehicle slots is to rename it based on the the department you would like the vehicles to spawn in. As you'd see on the page, I have the list of the departments. So you guys can name it to that. Let's go to my download button oh, here. Yeah. Hmm. This is the latest one I just installed. Right, so what you do for if you're installing an ELS vehicle, I'd recommend that you make a folder on your desktop. Don't bong to. Like I already have a folder here. 
you see I have a little name there. What you do, you copy and paste the relevant files. Well, I have to go into the DLC to pick out the vehicle files. You would copy and paste the sheriff files and the police um, YFT and the YTD files into the folder you have on your desktop. Rename them to the slots that you'd like them to spawn in, which would be, which would be as you can see here, I have the TPPD, which is that per police department slots here, but originally those files would not be on the, that slot. So if you rename them to the slot, make sure if it's an ELS vehicle, rename the, um, the ELS XML file also, otherwise the ELS would not work. It must be the same name as the model that it came with. All you have to do is rename the um, .yft and the .ytd files, then copy and paste them into whichever um, patch day you want to paste them into in OpenIV. By default, I have my own in patch day 22. You guys could use that same patch date. It would work fine. If you guys would like to know how to install vehicles, you can check out some other plugins. I'm sure you can find a other plugin. I'm sure you can find a um another tutorial on how to install vehicles in GTA LS video file somewhere out there on YouTube. I'd probably put a link in the description to one. Easy. Right, so after you do that, once you copy the rename them, then paste them into a directory within OpenIV. The DLC file link will be in the description, so you guys can. If you guys don't know how to do that, I'll put a link in the description to the video, or probably put a card on the top there for you guys. Um, yeah. So once you do that, you copy those into the install them. Then for the ELS part, you must rename the ELS, ELS XML file to the same name as you rename the vehicle coinciding with. It's coinciding with. So if you copy the, as you see, I have the sheriff eight, which is um that's grape seed SUV slot, and the sheriff seven is grape seed um cruiser slot. As you see here, you just have to rename that Sheriff 8 to the same name before this would be Sheriff 2. So if it's Sheriff 2 and you would like them and you would like to put the SUV from Sheriff 2 in that pack into the grape seed, it would be Sheriff 8 for the SUV and Sheriff 7 for the cruiser. If it's the Polito Bay, it would be um five and six five and six. And Sandy Shores would be three and four. All right, so you just rename everything within the to coincide with the slots list on the page. And then you copy and paste the vehicle files into the relevant area. Then you paste the ELS XML files, which I load get here. As you can see, I have which one I used. Actually, I used one and two from this XML files here. And you see I renamed them to seven and eight. Because I know one is normally one would be the cruiser for default. And two would be the um XUV or whatever that damn thing is called. So you just rename those and paste them into your ELS folder. Right, you just paste them into your ELS folder here. As you can see, I already have a couple paste. It should your um ELS folder should look just like my own right now. But other than the police one and two and three, those are default ELS vehicles. So you should have 
if you're in Sword and Fur, well, you should have a DPP. Because I recently had that last, um, last update. I added that. So you should have a ELS XML file called DPPD up to DPPD3, which would be the, the um, Del Perro Police Department. RH Police, which would be Rockford Hills. Sheriff 1 and 2, the default LSS slots. Police 1 to 3, default um, police slots. That'll be LS, LSPD. Uh, Sheriff 3 and 4, Sandy Shores Police Department. 5 and 6, Plato Bay Police Department. 7 and 8, Grape Seed PD. I did make the zone for Grape Seed a bit bigger in the last update. They will be covering the whole of. I'll have to find that map for you. Alright. And. PW will be Vinewood Police. So as you can see, I have the slots and the. ELS XML files for the vehicles that I have installed right now. Renamed to the specific slots that they are working on. And just to confirm that it's working with ELS for you guys, you should, once you know you have renamed it to the right, just to confirm that it's renamed to the right slot, you can go into the EML, the ELS XML, the ELS um, log. It will show you the departments and if the vehicle has been found. As you can see here, that's just the startup of ELS. Then it verifies the vehicle model. Once you rename it to the same name as the vehicle model, it would verify the model and assign the lights to that model. As you can see, that was it verifying the DPPD. Then DPPD2, it will go in order on how you have it in your um, files. So you have it named the DPP3, verified. And it goes down to the default police slots. It's verified that it has a model under the same name. Find the files, then it verifies the model with the same. Um, I don't think um the Perhaps, perhaps, uh, yeah, I don't think it's case sensitive, but the files, the name, Police Police 3, Rockford Hills, yeah, 1 and 2, 3, 4, and now if you don't know how much files it is, it should be about 20 for the last update. If you're using all ELS vehicles, it should be 20 ELS files loaded. That's all the files you should see. So if you guys have an issue with ELS, make sure and check to see if it's 20 for the 1.3 and 1.3.1. 1.3.1 one was just a bug fix. Make sure you have 20 vehicles loaded at the bottom of the ELS log. If not, then you don't have a um, ELS XML file corresponding to the vehicles that you have in. Guys, hope you guys understand every all the steps to install the plugin and everything there. On another note, you guys should on the go back to my page here all right you guys should see before you install the plugin you would have to install the game config i won't really there's probably a tutorial how to install that but if you go to the page and you don't know where to find the game config or the heap limit adjuster which bumps the limit of vehicles for gta up so that you can add more vehicles don't know where to find those guys you can just go to the page the and click on the relevant name and it will pull you to the ones that i'm using right now 
you download it from here, install it with the instructions they gave you from here. Same for the heap limit adjuster. You'd install it from here. If your as the plugin is also compat compatible with um what you call it jurisdiction plus because it is technically jurisdiction plus for vehicles you can click that that um link there on the default download page and it'll take you to here you can download jurisdiction plus but note that when you install jurisdiction plus you would have to reinstall the files that i'm working on because it edits the default zone such jurisdiction plus but so on Right, so how I'm using Jurisdiction Plus, I'm using the version 1. So I'd recommend that if you're installing Jurisdiction Plus, use version 1, please. Just use version 1. Just open that image in a new tab so I can zoom in for you guys. Right, so this is the default areas that Jurisdiction Plus adds and the department to go inside. I'll show you what I changed. In the zoning so as you can see this blue and see you probably can see this blue area here would be um blaine county sheriff's department i changed that i did i as you can see the purple is sandy shores what i did i gave sandy shores the jurisdiction of all of blaine county i completely removed blaine county from the um the game so you would not have Blaine County even though the um Sandy Shores and Grapeseed and Polito Bay uses the Blaine County e EUP uniform it would not be under Blaine County you'd probably see it it just says it's using Blaine County's uniform so Sandy Shores P police department would cover this whole area here up to the military base up there I forgot it would cover that whole area you would if you're in that area of the map you'd see the sandy shores vehicles spawning in as cops grape seed would cover this whole area here it i removed the park um park rangers from the mountain range here and humane labs would also be under grape seed now this whole area would be grape seed pd if you're within that area you'd see and you'd also get backup from ultimate backup which i recently fixed the backup in that area would be the vehicles under the grape seed lots yeah a little bit same zone, you don't only see the Polito Bay vehicles within that zone. Sometimes they would cross over the zones depending on what they're doing. I can't really control the AI. I might add in this area to Polito. But I'll leave it on the park ranger for now. I don't know if you want me to add that. Uh down here would be the LSPD. For now, within this area, you'd get the LSPD slots spawning in, the LSPD vehicles. Also in this area, because I haven't changed that. Which, bleh. With Spoochie, you would get the same LSPD vehicles, because actually... Yeah, you'd get LSPD vehicles, because I haven't changed the slots for that yet. Probably in the next update, I'll change that. Right, down to Del Perro zone, that would cover the pier, and... Uh, Morningwood and whatever that is, El Perro area. If you're in that area, you get the slots under DPPD. Rockford Hills would be this dark orange here. In that golfing area on south, you'd get Rockford Hills and Vinewood be, would be the, out Vinewood would be this area here. You'd get the Vinewood police vehicles within this whole area once you install the jurisdiction plus version one and that's about it for the zoning these other parts would be um the default vehicles that i haven't changed yet i would be changing them in the future 
in the future as I got a request from one of the guys are following the installation the files in the future I'd be adding um port authority with port authority which would take over the terminal area and it will take over these areas here the banning area the islands and the terminal area would be renamed probably in 1.4 version it will be renamed under the port authority so you don't see that vehicle slot spawning in that area and i'll also be adding the airport police slots i think i'd actually be adding the port authority for these three areas here the airport police as a different vehicle slots and which would she would get it so vehicles all right hope you guys understand everything on how to install and what the files does to the game and what it actually adds a bit more of realism to the lspdfr playthrough so now you'd have different jurisdictions by default that file comes from jurisdiction plus but you'd have extra jurisdictions with vehicles now with if you use jurisdiction plus and going uh, why can't i talk if you use jurisdiction plus with the plugin files that i have made recently use them together you'd get um more of a realistic playthrough of lspdfr because now you'd have the jurisdictions with jurisdiction plus and you'd have the vehicle jurisdictions with um departmental vehicle slots hope you guys understand everything i'll see you guys in the next one let me know down in the comments if you want to see any more details on how to install or any other thing that i made made in the future i'd probably do tutorials so you guys can understand how to install and everything got to put this out there just remembered if you guys are wondering this is my second time making any data files for gta and for lspdfr so on that note there may be some bugs when you load in and stuff just let me know on the lspdfr page or on the in the comments of this video or the other video related to that plugin just let me know and i'll Try to fix it as soon as possible. Alright, I'll see you guys. In my next patrol, I'm out. As usual, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.